Have you ever looked through a pair of glasses, snapped a photo, or stared through a telescope and thought about the lens inside? These tiny pieces of glass or plastic shape how we see the world. Today, we're going to take a behind the scenes look at how optical lenses are made for glasses, cameras, and telescopes. The process is more interesting than you might think. Let's see right through it, right here on History of Simple Things. Believe it or not, it all begins with something as simple as sand. Not just beach sand, but a special kind of pure silica sand. This sand is heated until it melts, then cooled in a way that turns it into glass. That glass becomes the base for many lenses. In some cases, especially for eyeglasses, plastic materials like polycarbonate or CR39 are used instead of glass. These are lighter and tougher, which makes them great for everyday wear. But for high quality camera or telescope lenses, glass is still the best option. Once the raw material is ready, it's melted and poured into molds to create what's called a blank. A blank is a thick, round disc that looks nothing like a finished lens. It's cloudy, rough, and oversized, but it holds all the potential to become something special. Each blank is made with a specific optical formula depending on what the final lens will do. A lens for eyeglasses might need to correct nearsightedness, while a camera lens needs to capture sharp, undistorted images. The materials and formulas are chosen carefully for each purpose. Now it's time to shape the blank. Machines grind the surface into a curve, either outward convex, inward concave, or a mix of both. This curved shape is what makes a lens bend light in just the right way. The grinding process is very precise. Machines carefully remove tiny amounts of material to reach the exact shape needed. Once that's done, the lens is polished to make it clear. Special polishing pads and powders smooth the surface until it shines and becomes see-through. After shaping and polishing, the lens goes through a detailed inspection. Technicians check it for any flaws, cracks, or tiny imperfections. They also test how well it bends light and whether it meets all the design specs. Even small mistakes can cause problems, like blurry vision in eyeglasses, fuzzy photos in a camera, or poor focus in a telescope. So this step is very important. In high-end lenses, each one is tested several times using advanced tools to make sure it's just right. Next, most lenses get coated. Coatings are super thin layers that improve how the lens works. For example, eyeglass lenses often get anti-reflective coatings to reduce glare, or UV coatings to protect your eyes from the sun. Camera and telescope lenses also get coatings to cut down on reflections and help capture more light. This means better image contrast, sharper photos, and clearer views of stars or planets. These coatings are added in special vacuum chambers one layer at a time. For eyeglasses, there's an extra step, customization. When you go to the eye doctor and get a prescription, a lens is made just for your eyes. Computers guide machines to grind the lens exactly to your needs, matching your vision correction. After that, the lens is cut to fit into your frame. If you want, it can be tinted, polarized, or even made into transition lenses that darken in sunlight. It's all about making the lens fit your lifestyle and your personal style. Camera lenses are a bit more complicated. Most camera lenses are actually made of multiple pieces of glass called elements. Each element plays a role. Some help focus the image, others reduce distortion or improve sharpness. 
The pieces must be perfectly aligned or the final photo won't be clear. High-end camera lenses can have 10 or more elements, all hand-checked and carefully put together. Telescope lenses take things to a whole new level. Since they're used to look at stars and planets far away, they have to be incredibly accurate. Even a tiny flaw could mess up the view. These lenses are usually large and heavy. They need strong support and perfect alignment. Sometimes they're used with mirrors, like in large observatory telescopes. Before any lens is shipped out, it goes through final testing. Eyeglasses are checked to make sure the prescription is correct. Camera lenses are tested for focus, sharpness, and light handling. Telescope lenses might even be tested under real sky conditions to see how they perform with stars and planets. Only after passing all these tests are the lenses packed up and sent out ready to help someone see better, take amazing photos, or explore the universe. Each lens represents the culmination of precision engineering and rigorous quality control. Even the tiniest flaw can distort an image or compromise vision, so nothing is left to chance. From your camera to your glasses to a space telescope, these lenses are built to perform flawlessly. And there you have it. From simple sand to powerful optical tools, the journey of a lens is a mix of science, technology, and careful craftsmanship. Every time you put on your glasses, take a picture, or look through a telescope, you're using something that took skill, time, and precision to create. So the next time you clean your glasses or aim your camera, Remember the incredible work that went into that small but mighty piece of glass or plastic. It's more than just a lens. It's the result of science, craftsmanship, and countless hours of testing. Behind every clear image is a story of precision and care. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below we'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.